Okay, let's see what the first gold ticket has in store for us today. Uh, let's hopefully get uh, the Unluckies or the Treasure Map Recruit Croc. Let's get it. It's time. It's time. Come on. Oh. Oh. Eggs Drake. It's not good. It's pretty trash. All right, another special rare recruit, four star or better. Um, we're already guaranteed to get the treasure map rare recruit croc right here, so that's pretty good. Let's uh, let's get that croc because uh, he's guaranteed, basically, right? Right? Nope. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> What's going on, my broskies? We are back, and we are on 63rd position right now. You can see our points. I've just exceeded 8 million points, so I have all my red tickets, so we're going to go ahead and do them right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, for this specific treasure map, and I assume every treasure map moving forward here, um, they've actually changed their point rewards a little bit, so they actually give you a legend ticket on... Um, 3 million points, 4 million points, I'm trying to find it here, but it's obviously being a bit of an issue. Uh, 3 million points, 4 million points, 5 million points, so you get 3 reds, but then when you get all the way to 7 million, you get a recent legend ticket, which is a legend ticket from the past 12 months of release. So they give you 4 legend tickets now for 7 million points, so it's a nice step forward, that's for sure, in terms of upgrading some of the stuff in Treasure Map. We know that over the past couple of months, you know, we've been talking about how bad this game mode is, and it needs some sort of overhaul. This is a nice step forward. Obviously, the game mode itself needs the overhaul. The rewards are obviously a, a factor that would go into improving the game mode, so this is a nice touch. So we have 4 red tickets to go through, 3 of of which can be random reds one of which is going to be from the past 12 months of release here we go guys so you guys would know right now only missing two reds in the game only missing Arlon crew missing v3 crews on either one of them would be epic to pull but considering all things it's i shouldn't be walking into this expecting to see a new red uh, i'm not a, i'm not expecting a new red by the way we're just going to do these pulls see what we get um hopefully just see some cool characters that's what i'm hoping to see so without further ado here we go this is the three million point red ticket here we go here we go it's a red it's a red and it's gonna be oh my god Oh, why do you have to do that, bro? Why? Oh, that's V2, Kruzan, bro. Why? Oh, my God. I saw the Kruzan straight away, but I didn't want to get too excited just in case if it was the wrong one. And I knew straight away just because of the position of the character... That it's V2 Kruzan, who is still a pretty good character, by the way. This unit is actually still pretty good, but... Man, that sucks. Like, that is just a huge slap in the face for that one. Uh, to get V2 Kruzan and not V3. <laughs> okay, well... Let's, uh, hopefully we bring it back a little bit. Come on, I've got faith. At least one of these tickets will be something crazy. Let's go. Alright, so we got V2 Kruzan for the first one. This is the 4 million point ticket. Again, can be any red in the game. Come on, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. It's a red. It's a red. And it's gonna be... Corazon, who is very, very good. Uh, for those of you out there who have a newer account or you've only started playing relatively recently, getting some of these older legends actually might be a bit difficult. Um, but this is one of the best old legends you can pull. He is so freaking good. O on, on paper, if you just pull him and look at his abilities and stuff, you might not think he's that good. But once you 6 plus him, you have his support ability maxed out. He is just phenomenal. Extremely valuable unit. So, you know, I'm always happy to pull Corazon, of course. But of course, I've got mine completely rainbowed out. You know, max support. Do not need any more copies of that guy. So this is the 5 million point red ticket, which again can be any red in the game. Arlong or V3 Kuzan is what we're looking for right here. Arlong or V3 Kuzan. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. It's a red. It's a red. And it's gonna be... V2 Sanji, who is pretty bad. I'm not a big fan of V2 Sanji. Uh, he definitely needs some sort of super evolution. I would love to see this guy get a 6+, plus, potentially make him either in his wedding outfit or make him into Sober Mask for his super evolution. Either one of the two would be pretty cool. 
um, because his abilities are just not up to 2020 standard. They need to be buffed. Um, I could see him like potentially reaching a super evolution sometime this year on Japan. Potentially, we'll have to wait and see. Of course, um, I'm not 100% sure if he has a limit break expansion yet because he could get a buffed captain ability from that. But his special ability also needs a buff. It's just not great. Um, so here we go, guys. This is the big one right here. The 12 month recent red Sugo Fest exclusive. So this is characters that have appeared from when? Uh, August 8th, 2019. Um, so I believe this actually might not include uh, Sanji Judge. This might be from Cracker onwards. It's either from Cracker or Sanji Judge to now because last year's French anniversary was Sanji Judge. This is August 8th which I think is after the Sanji Judge Sugo, so I'm not 100% sure. Either way, there's a lot of good legends here. Literally all the best legends in the game are in this ticket right here. So anything could happen. And again, the two legends that I am missing are pullable from this ticket. So if I'm going to get one of the ones that I'm missing, this is the chance to do it. So here we go. Last ticket. Come on, please. Arlong or V3 Kuzan. My boys. Can we get the Gang Gang or can we get the Ice Ice Navy? Come on, let's go. Recent Red Sugo Fest exclusive. Again, this can be a lot of characters though. Here we go. Here we go. It's a red. It's a red. And it's gonna be. Oh no, Vivi Becker. Oh my god. Oh, they're really good. Vivi Becker, really, really good. But again, this is a character that I've pulled a decent amount. I think I've pulled this character at least five or six times, I think. I've pulled this character a lot. Very, very good unit, by the way. Very, very good. So that about sums up our point reward reds right there. So uh, V2 Kuzan, which is such a bait. Uh, Corazon, V2 Sanji, and then VV and Rebecca. So, I mean... Viva, Rebecca, and Corazon are really good pulls. Kuzan's mid-tier. Uh, Sanji, not so much. But either way, pretty interesting pulls. I don't know how high I'm going to rank on this specific treasure map. So we'll see where, where I actually end up. I'm hoping to reach top 500. But it's going to be a little bit of a grind to do so. Considering I'm going to be relatively busy throughout the week. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys at the end of the treasure map. All right, so we're back. 950th spot is what I actually got in this treasure map. Um, yeah, so it's fine. I mean, I didn't reach top 500, but at the end of the day, it was relatively busy throughout this uh, this period of treasure map. So I'm not really that upset about it. At the end of the day, it was only missing two legends. So the chance of me getting something new... Right, not that high. Anyways, uh, 950th spot still gets me some pretty nice rewards. We still get some gems. We still get the gold key, which is nice to conserve. We got a blue treasure map key as well, which is good because I did use one during the treasure map on my NL to reduce his cooldown during the event, which is very, very useful. Um, we still get three guaranteed skill up books, which is good. We get some limit break materials. We still get five of each of those tablets too, which is pretty good. Uh, and of course, we do get a legend ticket. Now, that legend ticket can be any legend in the game. So, furthermore, you know, it just, it's not going to be anything new. I already know it's not going to be anything new. I'm expecting Sengoku. I'm expecting V1 Bulwa. I'm expecting a lot of trash right now. But anyways, uh, tell me where you guys ranked in the treasure map yourself um, and what rewards did you get? Throughout the duration of the treasure map as well is when I actually spent a lot of time doing GARP challenges. I've recorded all of my GARP challenges. I've completed every single GARP challenge already. Um, and I can't pick this up? Oh, I've already picked it up. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, no, I can't pick up the fragment. That's what it is. Okay, so I'll have to look into that. But, um... But yeah, I've already completed all the GARP challenges already. The videos are already uploaded to the channel. They'll, they'll be scheduled to come out every single day for like the next week or so, something like that. So look forward to that. Um, the the White Pit challenge is pretty interesting. I think it's like slightly more difficult than Revolutionary number one, but nowhere near as difficult as Revolutionary number two, definitely. Um, and it's kind of odd that they deleted the Dofi challenges. It would have been nice to have them back again, but either way, it is what it is. Um... I guess they can't have too many GARP challenges up at once, otherwise people can just hoard a bunch of gems for free every single month. And GARP challenges already provide a pretty good amount of gems, so I can get, I guess I can kind of understand why they don't have all three of them up at the same time. Maybe they're going to cycle out the Revolutionary, maybe they'll cycle out Whitebeard. We don't really know what they're going to do with those GARP challenges moving forward, right? Because um, even on JP, um, it's currently stuck in the same spot where they just got the revolutionary and the white bid challenge up at the moment. So it's, it's pretty weird, but at the same time, you know, at least they refresh every month so you can do them again and you can get a pretty good amount of gems from them. As I said, speaking of gems, here's our nine rainbow gems there. 
And now here we have our Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit ticket. And obviously there's those other two males that I can't pick up. So uh, this can be any legend in the game, nothing restricted. This can be all the way from version one Whitebeard to what's the most latest legend, Arlong Crew and Shanks. Obviously Arlong Crew and V3 Crews are what we're looking for. So hopefully we can walk away with one of them, but obviously this could be any legend. It could be anything, right? It's like, I think there's close to a hundred legends on global now, right? So, you know, it's like a one in a hundred shot pretty much. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good luck guys to you guys that were pulling as well with your treasure map tickets. Here we go. It's a red. It's a red. And it's gonna be... V2 Rayleigh. Yep, fair enough. Uh, do I have him rainbowed? I think I actually rainbowed him out recently because of his 6 plus that arrived on JP. Uh, where is he? I did have him rainbowed. Okay, I don't have his support max, but uh, it's not a terrible support, to be quite honest. 9% stats? It's not terrible. Not terrible, but there you go. Uh, V2 Rayleigh with the, coming at me with the uh, with that ticket there, but it's all good. Um, that is going to wrap up this video today. We're not going to be feeding any tablets or anything like that, but you guys saw the rewards that I got. 950th spot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today, and if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.